Good morning and welcome to Fernesh. Fernesh is a town on the island Isla de São Miguel. Isla de São Miguel is the biggest island of the Azores. The Azores are located on the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Portugal. This is still Portugal. The Azores are a, a volcanic hotspot. That is, there are three continental plates meeting here. And uh, there's actually a theory that the island group itself is on its own micro plate. This leads to a lot of friction in the Earth's crust and a lot of heat and this creates volcanoes and this is one of them. So while this volcano hasn't erupted in 500 years it's still active and we are going to see this today. I'm really looking forward to that because I love volcanoes. Um, volcanoes make me happy, I'm sorry but <laughs> they do. I'm going down there now and I'm going to find my trail hat. So my hike will go roughly in this direction and I'm going to go above this um, crater, caldera wall and there's a lake there and there's also um, hot springs and, and mud springs. Isla de São Miguel is a green island and it's very humid. It has a subtropical climate. There's tea plantations here. There are palm trees mixed with coniferous trees and there's a lot of flowers. I'm really happy I can spend an entire week here. I have seven full days where I can explore and hike. And this is going to be my first one. And it's also the one that I was looking forward to the most because yeah, I love volcanoes. I'm sorry, this might be controversial, um, but um, I know they can cause a lot of damage. They're so fascinating. And especially when you can, when you can see the power that they have. So it smells like sulfur here and it's coming out of the sewage. Look at that, there's sulfur everywhere, there's steam coming out of it. It's coming out of the ground here everywhere. Look at that. <laughs> this is cool. I don't know if you can see it on the, on the video, but uh, there's steam coming out of here and it's not smelling good. So I have reached uh, downtown Thornesh and the smell of sulfur is everywhere. Everything smells like sulfur here. So this is... Uh, hot water boiling and each of these little activity spots they they named so this they call Caldera Grande and it, it looks kind of like a gaze here so it reminds me of Iceland where I, where I was like uh, what feels like a million years ago so we have this field here of volcanic activity in the middle of the town which <laughs> you gotta admit it's awesome. So here's a hot spring uh, running down this hill into the river. So from this caldera grande thing I think, um, there's uh, water coming out of this wall and flowing down here in this steaming little creek Look at that. It's like, a, it's, it's like a boiling little stream down the hill here. And down there it goes into the river. This is so cool. And it's and it's really hot. I wouldn't I wouldn't touch I wouldn't wouldn't dare touch it. Um, I can I can sense it here. <laughs> I'm just gonna believe the heat that comes of it and I'm not gonna touch it. Again smells like sulfur. You can see the sulfur here. This residue. Wow. So I wonder if you can hear the sound of the bubbling, which is really quiet. I'm not sure if you can hear it. I'm going to try to go downstairs here. There's a staircase leading down to this boiling pond. And it's, uh, I can already sense that it's uh, quite hot. It's smelling like sulfur, like everything here. I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go down there. 
if it is at all possible. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. So there is a staircase, yeah? I'm, I take it it's okay if I go down there, right? So, I hope. I'm not gonna go bathing in this thing. Okay, I'm not, not gonna show you how I tried to get over this wall. And <laughs> let's just continue down the staircase. Doesn't look like I'm supposed to. You can go there, there's stairs. Stairs are like a, a sign that you can go there, right? Here. I hope it's not and it's not gonna come out of the ground like surprise. Uh, nice. So this is really reminding me of Iceland right now. I'm not gonna go any further. This might be slippery and I don't want to fall into the boiling water. Even if it's just a layer of hot water on the ground. I touched it uh, on Iceland once. There was a similar feel and it was really really hard. So it's Maybe just a centimeter thin uh, layer of water, but it's going to be really hot and I'm not going to tempt my fate. So, okay, let's get back upstairs. So they built this entire park around this volcanic field. Another one here. by the way. So I found one of those little little springs here and, uh, and I tested the water. It's, it's naturally sparkling, which is really weird and it has a bit of an irony taste. It is not hot, it's not warm, it's cold and uh, you, can, you can try it if you hear. Uh, try to drink it. It doesn't taste bad, it's, it's just not the normal water you might expect from a spring, but uh, I think you can already guess from the residue here but if you're here try it don't deny yourself the experience <laughs> all right so um, this is actually just the start of my hike and i'm going to head for the lake uh, for the caldera lake here and guys i'm really looking forward to this i'm so excited to be here 
still can't really believe it. I just arrived <laughs> and yeah, so I'm here and everything worked out. The weather is mixed, but um, actually the sun is uh, showing more and more now and I'm confident that the weather will be stable enough enough because the Azores typically have very mixed weather and it's it's not really all that predictable I think so right now it's about 20 degrees I still have my raincoat on because it was raining this morning but it's getting too warm I'm going to lose it but not now now I just want to go uh, and start my hike <laughs> so we're crossing Ferdinand now and on the other end there's going to be the trailhead. So I arrived last night and I did not think it necessary to go to a supermarket. So I ended up with kind of like a, like a food problem. <laughs> it's Sunday today, so I didn't think of that. But I kind of did, but I underestimated the actual problem I would have because what am I supposed to bring on a hike? So I found the Snickers bar in my backpack and fortunately this is not the only thing that um, will have to sustain me for today because I just found a supermarket that has opened on Sundays and I got another three Snickers bars. So yeah. trailhead and at this uh, interesting tree here and let's head up the mountain the weather otherwise is uh, really good it was forecast to rain all day and um, actually it was forecast to rain a lot this week um, for, the, for the time I'm here so this is a good start for the weather to not adhere to its forecast Just listen to this. Look at this huge fern. It's ginormous, like at least three meters, no, four or five if you count the top leaves there. I've <laughs> never seen anything like this. So this is uh, the biggest fern I've ever seen. Five meters maybe. Yeah, probably. More of these huge fern trees. You know, I've seen these all over the island from, from the bus and the car yesterday. And from afar, I was thinking it was palm trees, but it's, it must be some kind of fern. So um, I'm actually going to look this up and blend it in and uh, tell you what kind of plant this is. So there are flowers everywhere here. So we're now meeting the local wildlife. There are lots of cows on the island. And apparently, also, look at that. How am I supposed to get past this? Like a gazillion super cute kittens. Oh my god. I don't want them to shy away, so I'm just gonna keep my distance, but this is difficult. Look at this little cutie and her or his mom, I think. Look at this, is pretty fur, isn't it?
So who knows what this is? First I thought it was a wild strawberry, but it's not. Alright guys, I'm heading towards the second field of volcanic activity and I'm walking down this this jungle path here which is just gorgeous. I hope this comes across like it actually is on the video. I can already see the crater lake and for you guys it's just gonna be two seconds. For me it's a very muddy, very slippery downhill. And I'm gonna have to take away my camera for a second. So we arrived at the crater lake and I can already see the steam of the volcanic fields there. So let's head over there. There's the crater lake and behind me you can see now the next volcanic field. So let's get a little closer. Guys, this is, this is awesome really. This makes me so happy. <laughs> it's amazing. We have just uh, yesterday I was in Hamburg and then I had a brief stay in Lisbon and now I'm in this amazing place. So these tiny little hills there are actually human-made. Um, there are restaurants, at least one or two, I don't know, that are using the heat of the earth here to cook food. And on these little hills you can see uh, phone numbers and uh, names of restaurants. So here you can see it a bit better. This is super red. Yeah, so unfortunately they closed off this part of the trail, which is really sad. I don't know why. It doesn't look damaged or anything. But I'm not gonna step over here. It's, it's a rather obvious sign not to go there. So... Yeah, so that's that. I'm going to, to try a different path um, up there and see what we can see from there. So apparently this trail is closed because because the area you just saw is, is quite young um, and it's um, always changing and there are new sinkholes evolving and so this makes this path dangerous and people can no longer walk there so there are other paths that were actually um, torn down because um, sinkholes kind of like <laughs> basically swallow them up <laughs> so yeah you can't go there but um, still uh, we saw some of the second field and now we get this beautiful view of the lake. I should have seen that coming, didn't I? <laughs> By the way, because it was supposed to rain, I brought my raincoat instead of sunscreen. And um, <laughs> I'm really curious how this will turn out. So right next to the lake, we have this lost place here. So I'm going to take a look at this, this park here. And I just took a picture of that map of that park. And I just looks amazing. I didn't plan on visiting this park, so um, time may become an issue. I hope not, but let's try. There are going to be some waterfalls here, and it's all natural, and very subtropical. <laughs> Look at this beautiful red plant here. That blossom. So 
So the entire path is supposed to take five hours, which I could not do because of time. And I'm just gonna see how far I can go. It's a round trip. It costs you 10 euros. And I think it's worth it because when are you going to come back here and see this again? <laughs> Look at that. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Look at that. I can already hear the first waterfall. I'm in kind of a jungle-like area here. She has these beautiful, almost tropical forests. So we're getting closer to the first waterfall. This whole thing is called Waterfall Park. Let's see what we find. First waterfall of the trip. There's going to be a lot of beautiful waterfalls on this island. And I'm hearing the first one. Oh, look at those flowers here. Colorful bushes. This is amazing. I wonder if this is anywhere close to Kauai. glad I made the decision to actually go to the park. It looked interesting from afar, but just wanted to know what it was and it was a, um, the entrance to this park. So, yeah. I hear the waterfall. I'm heading towards it. Staircase ever, but of course, I'm gonna go down there. to film the entire time because it's so beautiful. I hope I'm not boring you guys. This 
This is paradise. <laughs> Unreal. So if you're going to go here, do the waterfall park. It is absolutely worth it and you will not regret it. It's marvelous. I'm not going to do the entire trail because it would be like five hours and there are some other things I still want to see. Um, but seriously, I'm not sure if that's worth it because I mean, does it get even better? <laughs> So I'm completely off my uh, actually planned trail, but uh, that doesn't matter at all. Um, I'm super happy right now. And the weather is so great, guys. It's, it's amazing. Um, the past week I always watch the weather here on Sao Miguel and it is always mixed, but it seemed like I had picked that one week when it was constantly raining everywhere. and. I was pretty sad about that. Fortunately, the weather forecasts all lied and this weather is actually perfect for hiking. It is not, it's not 20 degrees as I said before, it was actually, it is 17 degrees and it feels very warm because it's humid, it's tropical. I love this place, seriously. You know how I booked this? I set myself a deadline when I wanted to uh, book a trip for summer and um, my first choice, my first plan was actually Greenland but um, the prices seemed to be very steep uh, probably because I booked shortly before I wanted to go, like three, four weeks and uh, so this is uh, probably something that I should book more in advance and so um, I still hit my deadline, right? So I, I had to book something and I looked on the map and looked for something interesting. So I found these islands off the coast of uh, Portugal and I never really took notice of them. And finally, every person I told I, I'm going to, Az to the Azores, they, they said, oh, oh cool, where, where is that, right? So um, they didn't know either, so yeah it's a very interesting trip it's an adventure i didn't know what i was going to expect i have a lot of hikes planned let's see which of these i can do it really depends also on the weather because some of them have really great views but of course there's no views if uh, it's cloudy and 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 foggy oh and by the way there's nobody here it is completely quiet you just see the birds and the water and um i met uh, a couple of other people, like maybe maybe five on the entire trail, and they were all equally amazed. So prepare yourself for something if you visit this place. It's really cool. So I just stumbled upon this bamboo forest. Is there anything this island doesn't have? This is cool. 
and completely unexpected. So there are more of these fern trees. It really is fern. So fern can be a tree. <laughs> this is a fern tree. Right, I can safely say that this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. I could spend all day in this forest. <laughs> I'm assuming that this is actually much more interesting here than the, the, the hike I planned. And I'm not sad if I don't get to do the hike I planned. I don't regret anything. And the hike I planned was actually a trip around the lake. I'm not sure this would have been as interesting as this. So this is a lost place. Could this trail become any cooler? Look at that, a lost place in the jungle. So no way, I'm not going to try to get in there. Again, stairs, right? Stairs mean you're allowed to do something, obviously. I'm just gonna hold you guys in there and okay I can already see something on the screen so There's no graffiti here. This is amazing. In Germany, this would be already covered in, in, in graffiti. So I talked to this Canadian couple when I uh, walked here and and they said that I uh, should definitely take a look at it so if you guys see this thank you very much for making me go here this is amazing it's truly amazing a lost place without graffiti and instead with tropical plants all over Here's some garbage, right? So. But it doesn't smell like poop. No graffiti. This is truly something. Ah, so there's a sign up there. This was built in 1860.
feel that the, um, the ground is hollow and I'm not trusting it fully. So I'm not going to go any further. So here's the fireplace. For a rainy day, the weather is really good. I gotta say that. Well, you know, this split second um, decision to actually have a look at this entrance, which looked interesting, and going into uh, onto this hike. If I hadn't done that, probably my day would have been a lot less interesting. It would probably still have been amazing, and I would have been amazed and, and happy, but uh, I would have missed out. Look at the flower here, it's just, it's just growing here, like really beautiful flower. All right, so that's it for the last place in the jungle. Um, let's head back down to the lake and see what's next. All right, scratch that, not back to the lake because I realized the tray that I planned intersects with this one. So I would like to go up the caldera wall and this is right next to my last place here and i'm gonna try it i'm a bit scared because the elevation profile of that hike is so steep so if i make it up there after that i will probably have to head back to town because i don't want to miss the only bus that would get me back might be this one shall we try is this a trail I don't know the elevation profile of this is um, I don't know if you can see it here you see that bump yeah that looks scary see I'm just gonna try and see how it goes if that's actually a path or just you know um, there are these old stairs here in the ground and you guys remember a stair means it is uh, basically allowed to go here let's see how far I get so it's definitely a path definitely less well maintained than the rest of the park However, I'm just gonna keep going because it looks good. All right, yeah, getting there is getting steeper and I see rocks up there. I'm not prepared to climb. Let's see if that's what the trail wants of me. So for anyone else who would like to go on top of the caldera, unfortunately, the trail is closed. I feel like I made it halfway up, which of course is extra sad, but still the trail is worth it. You can get up to the fence and then just go back down again like I'm going to do now. So this was exhausting. It's 17 degrees Celsius still, but it, it feels like 25. The stems of the trees are all red, which makes a fantastic contrast to the lush green of the forest and it's really beautiful you see that mountain ridge up there that's where i wanted to go now you can see the holes where they dug out the food all right i am back in Thornash, as you can see and i'm waiting for my bus I actually did go for the um, cosido, the volcano cooked food, and it was really delicious, very savory, very meat heavy, uh, very interesting because um, some of the meat, especially the uh, sausages, they kind of um, had, the, had acquired the taste, kind of the, the flavor of um, sulfur, which is weird, it kind of, kind of worked. So if you visit Furnash, try that. So that's it for today, for this hike. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It uh, really helps the algorithm recognize my content. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And 
I hope I see you next time.